Josh, Brendan, huge congratulations. Beating the hosts, hostile atmosphere, you two were absolutely superb. How does that feel? Uh, absolutely awesome. You know, I, I see the section of the draw and everything, and I'm looking, we're going to win it, we're going to have to go the hard way, but uh, you know what? We're, we're here to win, and uh, that's that was our attitude, and we got up there, and uh, Josh, yeah, well, Josh enjoyed it more than anybody because he was flying, he was superb, I was a bit grumpy about how I was playing, <laughs> <laughs> but I tried to enjoy it, and uh, you know, I suppose we worked together, but this man's all right. 7-4 up, then you're in the last leg, decider. What's going through your mind at that point? Because the fans of them were on, obviously, on the up for Germany. I knew we were winning that because, obviously, uh, Martin kept annoying me, obviously. Whenever people celebrate, there's a wee switch goes in my head to switch on. And then, obviously, Gabriel celebrate. I was like, we're winning this last leg, I don't care what anybody <laughs> says. And, obviously, we started off very, very strong, and then I just knew it was going on. You say it annoys you. What, what does it? Because obviously we've seen you celebrate as well, so I'm guessing that could give them the motivation as well. I, I wait to the end. Yeah, I wait till the game's over <laughs> to celebrate, so because that's what it means the most. But yeah, obviously the, the crowd was absolutely fantastic. They were two up, or two opportunities they booed, and that's when you were going for a double eleven and double top, and that was it. They didn't boo any other time, so they actually were most of it. The, the, very they, were, they were very good. They were because I've been in, and it's been a lot worse, you know, uh, especially. A couple of World Cups with Daryl and that there, I have to admit. Or maybe I wasn't prepared for it. I don't know which it is. But I'd have to say this crowd, they booed and cheered Germany, but they, they, they booed us, but cheered Germany, but there was no bad whistles or at the yeah. wrong time. And it was a general noise in the arena. And it created a great atmosphere. And uh, well, we do things the hard way, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> we, like to, we like to have a wee bit of atmosphere and a wee bit of uh, excitement at the end. You've beaten the hosts, potentially a showdown for the tournament favourites next as well. You relish a, a battle with England on that stage tomorrow, potentially? Uh, yeah, if we're going to win it, we're, we're here to beat everybody. And if we go through it and beat Don't what everybody it. else thinks is the best, well then, you know, we'll get more uh, gratitude for winning it. So. 100% pairs is a completely different game because you've got the likes of, obviously, I'm a fast thrower, uh, Humphreys and Smithy's a very fast thrower too. So it's whatever way you adapt to it. And obviously who your partner is too, who you click with, so just we'll see what happens. Whoever it could be France, it could be England, we'll see who we have tomorrow. We see the way you two are vibing and buzzing off each other. Can this be the catalyst for both of you for an amazing back end of the year? 100 percent If we do like, bite, we completely uh, I love Brendan the bits, he loves me the bits, we just bounce off each other. It's, it's it's been so enjoyable this. It's it's probably the most enjoyable I've enjoyed a World Cup like it's I've been I really enjoyed it because when just seeing a young man coming in and having a, not a care in the world and going, you think I'm going to do this? Well, I'm not. I'm going to do my own thing. <laughs> and I just love it. We're in the I just love it. Joke, so. Yeah, we, 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 we laugh. We bounce each other. We have a joke. And, and it's great. Absolutely great. And, uh, you know, I will like to turn up. I will turn up one of these games. You know? <laughs> now, God help. Well, in the next room. Thank you very much. This is the first time that we've not seen Germany in the quarterfinals since 2019. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it almost a little bit more, more satisfying when you beat either a person or a team in front of their home crowd? Well, obviously it's very hard to play the home nations because obviously every year it's going to be the home nations but we're always in Frankfurt. So but obviously the crowds with Germany, everyone wants to see Germany bands in their home nation. So we just have to very hardly dig out the ground and get going and luckily we did tonight. Brendan you've been here so many times before Josh you haven't. <laughs> where, where does the advantage go though is that a good mix of experience because you've you've got battle scars from the tournament before whereas you come in scarfery. Well definitely I suppose maybe up there I've, I've been dumped out twice I think by Germany and uh, I would say German teams not playing as well as the German team is now and uh, I probably know myself, I'm playing better generally myself, I'm playing better, but I was feeling the, I suppose the tension and pressure up there and I did not play well or as well as I wanted up there, but I know I did hit a few doubles at the right time and maybe crucial doubles when a couple, we were all feeling the pinch up there and maybe that was my experience that uh, pulled me through that. But uh, Josh is playing like not a care in the world because he 
He doesn't care. <laughs> and that's brilliant. And I'm not going to care from now on. Not Donald Faye, you pretty much, there was a, like a new look because it's when <laughs> yeah. dragon turned round, that was, was in. <laughs> well, I kind of I knew it was in <laughs> when I left the hand. <laughs> Josh, after two visits, you was averaging 180. At what point do you think the nerves are going to kick in in this tournament? Because you're just playing with so much. Last time we had the 11 dart, it just, kept, just went down for yeah. But obviously, I knew what I had to do because obviously you're up against Germany. And obviously, Martin Sanders playing very, very well at that. So we just knew what I had to do. And luckily, we just go for that line. Josh Brendan, huge well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Team Northern Ireland, congratulations. I would like to start with Brendan. Uh, you had a fantastic start into the match with an 11 dart. Uh, what made it so difficult to, to find the rhythm to, to uh, well, get a momentum? It felt like it was really up and down and both teams struggling at points and so on. I think uh, because we know how good Germany is and uh, we had the darts in the first leg. so. In a way, we didn't gain as much ground as 11 darter normally would. Um, for me, they hit a 180 in the second leg, so they weren't going away. And uh, mentally, they were strong enough on their own legs uh, until later on in the game. And uh, I think that's why it was so difficult. I think uh, they're such a good team. They're hard to get rid of. Uh, two quality players, but... Uh, you know, we kept plugging, we kept trying, and uh, we weren't going to give up. And uh, when we got the lead, we knew we'd cross the line sometime, but we had to leave it to the end. <laughs> Josh, how difficult was it to, to play that last leg when, when you had that lead and they came back at you and it was 7 all? And I think you opened it up. And uh, how, how difficult was that situation, especially with the atmosphere, with the, with the crowd and so on? Well, with the atmosphere, I just kind of blanked it out, but I knew I had a good feeling after the triple seven team where it was going to be a steady leg, and obviously Brendan went 140, then I went 140, so it just kind of obviously helped the way it went, so I didn't feel much nerves. Brendan, I think other people already talked about you being in the World Cup for a long time, having a big experience. What do you think? What can you give to, to a debutant like, like Josh? What, uh, what experience can you give to him or do you think he doesn't even need it? Uh, <laughs> the way Josh has gone about his business in the PDC, I personally think he doesn't need to be told anything. <laughs> he, uh, he just goes with the flow and the only thing uh, I need to keep doing with Josh, I need to keep him keep me upbeat uh, because his his enthusiasm his jumping about his uh, madness you know it makes us relax gel so well together and he's doing more for me than i'm doing for him and i know because of my experience uh, he is doing so much he doesn't realize what he's doing but i know what he's doing and josh um it felt like, or it feels like, in the last few months. Well, your your form is is getting better. You you get to to the level we have seen you before. Um, is it the same? Do, do you feel the same? And uh, do you think how much can the World Cup help you with uh, uh, getting back to that consistency, to that level you have been already? No, uh, it was more the European Tour when I won. Obviously, it's got my confidence up because obviously when you play on the stage. It's hard to win the stage for anybody because some people went up on that stage and never won a game. Especially when you win a tournament on the stage, it means a lot to anybody. And obviously it meant a lot to me when I won in Ross Mallon. So it's made my confidence absolutely sky high going into the year. Obviously, hope win this World Cup, hopefully with Brendan. Obviously, match play, the Grand Slam, everything else. Because as soon as you get that winning feeling on the stage, your mindset changes. Thank you. Good luck Thank for the rest of the tournament. Brandon, Thank Josh, you. Uh, congratulations. Um, could you describe your expectations before going into this tournament as an experienced player like you, like you and uh, as a new <laughs> Northern Ireland player? One game at a time? You take well, every game with every goal? It was one game at a time, but my expectation is to win because I expect to win and Josh expects to win every tournament we play. But the fact is, for the last month, We've won a tournament each, and I think, you know, that in itself, like, I was carrying an injury and I won a tournament for myself, I think, if I can win and I'm not playing 
full throttle. Uh, uh, I can play better and like, I'm about another 30% better than I was back then. So things is going in the right direction. And I, I do believe, you know, we can win this and that expectations, but uh, we will be trying our hardest, I know. And do you feel it's a kind of refreshment maybe for a team like Northern Ireland? You played like um, 10 years uh, with Daryl and now it's Josh at your side. Do you feel it's like a bit refreshed? Josh will make ever anything refresh <laughs> because uh, he's so bubbly and uh, he has probably changed me in this World Cup and he's making me more relaxed and making me more enthusiastic for the game and more hungry to win, you know. And, uh, you know, the thing is, we're here to win. Uh, you need to be comfortable with each other. And, like, as far as I'm concerned, no matter who would have played with Josh this year, they would have felt comfortable playing with him because he's just that kind of guy. And Josh, finally, what does it mean for you uh, to, to have the flag on your shoulder? Oh, it means the absolute world to me, obviously, from Northern Ireland. It means the world, obviously, especially when you represent the country, because not everybody can say they represent their country. And I'm hanging for especially when it's a World Cup. It means the absolute world to me. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you.